by Michael Jordan, bitch, I travel with a cocaine circus Flow God level like a nose speak, I make a song, we forget the game, man hey. Bitch Yeah, yeah Go God level like a nose speak, I make a song, we forget the game, man hey. Yeah Yeah, yeah Yeah Always wanted to be the next podcast star? So what's the holdup? If you're looking for the easiest way to make your podcast, then listen up. Anchor gives you everything you need to make your podcast in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. And that's not all. They'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard everywhere. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. And you can easily make more money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Ready for your voice to be heard across the globe? So what are you waiting for? Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started today. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Need need to check, check. We got everybody in the house, man. I went for my DJ, get ready. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. It's the boom, bad power. Bad power. You choking <laughs> over there, yeah, son. What we choking on, son? Ah, right there. This is called conspiracy. Conspiracy, okay. Yeah. It got you I just choking. love the names. Yo, I had some stuff called Flow, right? And what it's from the? this dude, his name DJ Short Flow. Okay. He sure. developed this hybrid strain. Mm. She was definitely smoking. I it was flowing, wasn't it? It was flowing for sure. Yeah, these all these different fucking names, son. And all these yo, different types. I'm telling sites. you, remember what I told they you? They be y'all cracking me up. I see all like, these different types. Y'all gotta types. go to the, um, to the Snoop joint. Oh, yeah, To the son. website. I gotta go check that out, so I ain't What's his website? It's the, um, what, is Snoop.com? Or shit like that. Oh, 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 I thought oh, he oh. had a um no, uh, a weed uh oh, website. oh yeah the weed. okay wait, 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 I thought that on. was the Mary was that the Mary Jane you was talking about no that that's not that yeah, right yeah it's Mary is Mary oh, though yeah, like yeah, like Merry yeah, Christmas M E R R Y Jane right I that. See, so like an encyclopedia for yeah, weed yeah, or something yeah, right yeah, and you can look up the weed strains that day you different know, type of weed your people's guy you feel me I love it I love it so check this out right so. Eminem is. Oh, a, oh wait, are we going to do the oh, reading thing this week? I mean, on this segment or no? Yes. Okay. Oh, ahead. okay. Go ahead. Then. Yes, absolutely. Um, but first, I got a story. Okay, okay but then we're gonna go into that. Okay. All right. So Eminem is reportedly stressed out about Mariah Carey's upcoming memoir. Yes, oh, wow. seriously stressed. <laughs> All right, so Eminem been trolling Mariah for years, so now you stressed out? Okay, this should be good. What is he going <laughs> to say about this dude? Oh, he got a three-inch dick? Uh, so <laughs> her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, <laughs> drops on September 29th and is filled with my memories, my mishaps, my struggles, my survival, and my songs, right? So um, what really happened between the song Stress and the rapper in the early 2000s has been overclouded in drama and mystery for decades. Did they, did they date or uh, no? Did well, they, they did. Though? They did uh, date. Mimi seems more than ready to spill all that tea and set the record straight on their relationship quote. And she put that in quotes in her book. In her book. Yes. Okay, go ahead. So um, an insider told US Weekly that they had a toxic relationship and he knows that Mariah is going to say some very negative things about him. What you think? She he been trolling her for years uh yeah he's expecting this onslaught and almost welcomes it right oh man. yes so wow. it's just been a whole thing with now nick cannon in 2009 when she married him and the same year eminem dropped uh dropped bagpipes from baghdad which dragged uh, Drag both of them it. right oh, that yes was hard. <laughs> uh <laughs> okay wait hold on now i don't want to get off the topic but y'all seen what snoop said about eminem right what do you say? It wasn't his top. Um, he said Eminem is yeah. not in my. Uh, top in his 10. top five, right? Top yeah. ten. Top, top ten. 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did see that. Yeah, he's not there. Told you. Mm-mm. Well, anyway, the audiobook version of the memoir, produced by Audible, which is one of our sponsors, will be released the same day as the written version. So she's performing that audiobook herself. It's going to take you on a journey in her voice and words. So she's going to be talking on the journey? Yeah, that's what okay, Audible gotcha, is. Gotcha. I love Audible. It's I'm the serious. the person who wrote it. It's Absolutely. And it makes you it really 
feel the story because you basically you listen, to them, you listen to, to them talk talking. their whole story out, you know. Roger. So yes, um, stories on Mm, absolutely. I might have to make yes. a book, man. You, you might have to me? make a book. I'm trying to go. tell that, you. That's another the revenue. most successful, non successful producer ever. Okay. I've been around everybody and I ain't that's even made title. a dime off these niggas. That's your, that's your title. Well, let me tell you something. You shouldn't be scared of reading. Reading is fundamental. And that's why I came up with Ruby V's Read a Damn Book. That's what y'all need to do. Read a damn Get book. Ass to Please. The, I ain't going to say okay. go to the library, but like she said, go to audible.com. They get That's you some right. Books. Absolutely. Read a damn book. Read a damn book. And today we're, fe- we're featuring a great read. Okay, it's actually Black Privilege. Opportunity Comes to Those Who Create It by Charlemagne the God. Oh, I God. love this book. This Teach book is God. really a dope Shout book. To the God. Okay. Okay. This book is really dope. He shares his unlikely success story as well as how embracing one's truth is a fundamental key to success and happiness. You know, especially like when you're like on the radio or in the public eyes, like, you know, he's definitely gotten in trouble for a lot of that, right? Okay. Um, but he also has like um, principles such as Put the weed in the bag. Yes. Put the weed in the bag. Put the weed in the bag. And in the in the moral of the story, I don't know. Do y'all remember Belly? Right. Of course. When um, DMX and Nas was sitting at the table, right. and the young guys were like, "I want to go out and get money with y'all." And DMX was like, "Well, just shut the fuck up. And put the weed in the bag." Right. Got you. So the moral of the story is: is opportunity always, as in his words, he says, opportunity always comes before money. But sadly, many don't recognize it unless there's a paycheck attached. When you're first starting out, put yourself in a position to be part of the process, then get the money. Um, I, if I can recall correctly, I don't even think I think he took a, the opportunity with Wendy Williams, and I don't think it was paid. But look how where it got him on the Wendy Williams experience. So okay, I got some tea about that. Oh yeah, we always got some tea. I yes, with Wendy Williams' that, husband and everything, they definitely do not fuck with each other at all. Charlemagne and Kevin Hunter. Yes. And no, Charlemagne and Wendy might be tight again. They might because but Kevin Hunter's out of the picture Kevin now. Who is her ex-husband? Oh, absolutely oh, not. Got some real dirt on Charlemagne. So y'all definitely got to check <laughs> this. Seen Charlemagne at, at his grimiest. <laughs> I, I'm well. I'm trying to tell you, y'all better read that book because you will find out the entire story. Okay. Oh, he said something about Kevin. Oh he yeah, he Kevin went in. Those? He, well, he went in basically. With the, with the girl, with I don't want to give away too. Yeah. I don't want to give away too much of the book, but y'all definitely need to check that out, okay? And I can tell you how you can do that because um, we will be featuring a new book every show with Ruby B's Read the Damn Book. So get in the conversation and get your two free books from audibletrial.com slash the Boom Bap Hour. You got Audible. it. Audible. Dot com. Audible trial. Audible trial. Dot com. Dot com. Slash. Slash. The Boom Bap Hour. Boom Bap Hour. You can get two free audiobooks. I'm I, about to go in there right now and get one. I, I'm serious. Like, I started off, like, with the trial because I was like, man, you know, I wanted to read, like, Michelle Obama's Becoming. And um, also, you know, of course, we just interviewed, like, Tommy Davidson. So, you know, his new book was definitely dope. Um, we got some more books coming up as well. So, yeah, like, if you ain't got time, because I know I used to be an avid reader, you know, I used to love reading. But I feel like I haven't read a book and I can't tell you the last time. I actually like sat down and did it. But when I heard about Audible, now I can do it driving in Word. the car, uh, where cooking, yeah, all of that. You get that, that time shit. in. So it's like your own personal time. So it just chills. Every week, Roll man. Up the smoking list. But we That's need right. to do that and listen to us. Exactly. All same time. Yeah, you feel me? Like, listen to us while you're chilling in the car, too. Because that's what I do. A- I ASAP. go back and just turn on the podcast and just rock and out. Just rock that's out. right. You feel me? That should be different. Hell Y'all yeah. be killing me, man. Word. Yes, that's <laughs> definitely how you get your me Y'all time in a podcast. You know, yeah. podcast. That, that's your time just for you. You know, listen to the mm-hmm. podcast. Something that's going to get you energized oh, for the God. day. You feel me? Okay. Yes. Facts. 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 Yes. So, I'm um, speaking to Snoop. Okay, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and Be Real unite for It Was All a Stream Global Benefit Concert in August. Okay? So in August, it was all a stream. It was all a stream. Snoop Dogg, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and Be Real of Cypress Hill are headlining this global live stream concert. Okay? okay? So the concert is aimed to. That's a lot of fans right there. Uh, absolutely. Snoop Dogg, Bone Thugs, and Cypress. Yep. That's a lot, That's a lot of, of old people. I mean, they old, they old people. I'm not going to say they're young people. They old. 
But it definitely got a fan base. A audience, you know what I'm saying? Smoke. Yeah, he says a lot of smoke, that's smoke that's right? Yeah. Smoke no, 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 no. Damn near. I mean, <laughs> up in smoke was who? Exhibit, Snoop, Eminem. No, not up in smoke. Up in oh, smoke, no, smoke not was the Dr. Dr. Dre and them tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about um the, the what's the name tour? Rock, no, um, Death Jam tour. Yeah. With DMX, Method oh. Man, and Red Man. I think that's okay. Bad. Okay, well, y'all got to definitely look that up and um, find that out. And um, I think they got a documentary on the Up and Smoke Yeah, they do. Too. They do. Okay, okay. That shit crazy. Them motherfuckers going in, they, they went wilding. everywhere. They was wild. <laughs> they were smoking and doing wild and out. Yes, well, this concert um, is actually a benefit concert aimed to move the culture forward and spread the love during these challenging times. Okay, so it's going to be really good. Y'all should really tune in. Yeah. Um, and it's actually hosted on Crazy Bones' new platform, LivingLegends.tv. Mm-hmm. Word. Yes. So that sounds like that's going to be dope. Uh, yeah, you know, Fifty Cent and his son always got drama, right? Oh, oh shit. here we go. So Fifty Cent's son, what's his son name? Marquise. Uh, oh, I was about to say. Wait, wait. I was about to say. What's his son name? Tariq. <laughs> oh Lord, here we go. Right. Ah. Oh, his son will act like Tariq and shit. Yeah, like a little right. Tariq. Like, Whoa, some goddamn. That might be the reason why Tariq liked that, that in the story. Then he still I mean, loves him. It could, could be right based on hand. reality. <laughs> I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you I'm never know the undertone, right? Everything that nigga was a lie, right? Hell yeah. So fans of 50 Cent and the ma- ma- and the vast majority of the hip hop community know that the rapper and TV exclusive has a fractured relationship with his son Marcus. Yeah, he's so believe believe it or not, Marcus still had his dad in the top five rappers of all time. Okay. But now 50's on the outside as he was replaced by Pop Smoke. <laughs> so Marquise detailed why on Instagram Live. He's a young cat. You know? So he said, so you know, he said, I, I told niggas I was replacing 50 in my top five for Pop Smoke. He had both. He could do what 50 do. He sounds like him and he has melody. So do you think he means it or he just trolling like his daddy? <laughs> could be fucking with his daddy, but he kind of I mean, it makes sense, though. He, he mean, trolling him. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, how, he old, though, right? His son, like, 20-something now, right? He should be, yeah. He should be I'm sure old. he looked like he was kind of, yeah. Pretty old. He should be old. Around that age. Yeah, for sure. Uh, now, here's some crazy news right here. So, um, how would you feel if you went to go, like, for instance, to Wendy's or McDonald's or just anywhere, and they said, would you like a glitter with the side of that burger? A who? A what? Glitter? <laughs> so, would you like a side of glitter with that burger? A side of glitter? <laughs> well, what about if you uh, went to a, a drive through strip club? They have one now in Houston. Hell no. <laughs> like, what do you do? In it? Like, you stay in your car and you just stick your hands out the window and touch your ass and titties or something? Like, how does right that work? The oh, my God. The ass is while you It's in the windows? In the windows. You know so what shake saying? it. And you just paint it like it's like a, um, like how you like get a car that. wash so what where you come? drive inside <laughs> the right. stall. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right, Where right. the people on the outside right. can't see what's going That's on. That's some crazy shit, right? So what you? how you get the private dance? They come inside? So listen, right? So if you're a fan of exotic dancers and eating in uh-huh. your car, then Vivid Gentleman's yeah. Nightclub is probably your kind of pandemic so, oh, paradise. Oh, you know eating and shaking ass? It's like Burger King. There's dancing involved, though. Okay, yeah, so the people black who work here got oh, ass. They, 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 they dancing while they, they got they got, on, they got on bikini tops okay, or whatever. You I know see what, what I'm saying? They, okay. Black okay. metal barricades separate the dancers from the cars, and dollar bills litter the asphalt between the white siding of the tent walls. The asphalt. Okay. Yeah, you this just may throw seem the like money a gimmick. Out the car window at the bitch when <laughs> like, you ask you, you know what I mean? This, some, this is <laughs> serious <laughs> business. They just throw the money out the car window at the bitch. There you go, bitch. <laughs> of course, the only yeah. what kind of ratchet shit is that? Like, are you that desperate to go to a strip club? Or are you like, man, fuck it, man, go to the drive-through, nigga. I got. Hey, a there's a lot of desperate people because they're getting great business. They get great business. They get great business. They get I'm great like, business. Strip clubs is wow. losing so much money right now. Yes, because they was making so much that. Now for that to just be going because you can't be around dudes. This Niggas is their supplement to see ads for that. every day. 
Uh, niggas want to see ass every That's day. That's what OnlyFans is now. Basically. Exactly. This is the new shrimp club. Yep. And they be yep. scamming people too, man. I'm they trying to tell you. They, they hell yeah. Why are you scamming? 